Welcome back to your digital crack. It's your host Mario. Hope everybody's having a lovely evening or day. Wanted to touch base with you guys about the latest news on the Xbox Series X and PlayStation. It's been a revolving door of information lately. Seems like every day we look up we have more news to talk about actually. Uh, today's topic is going to surround, of course, the consoles and um, fanboys and rumors. Um, we'll start off today with um, the rumor or the information that we got saying that Microsoft is supposedly in the works of buying more companies, more uh, gaming developers, um, and trying to bring them under the umbrella of the Xbox. Now, this is going to be interesting how people perceive this because after the event that took place and Microsoft's failure to wow people I get the sense that most people are not going to be very receptive of this news because what we have is more empty promises of more developers right well you supposedly have gotten all these other developers and they haven't done anything so why do we think you're going to do something different it's you know um with the playstation you know we have information on their developers and their developers are actually you know producing games for them whereas your developers you bought all these studios and you still don't have anything to show for it and that's concerning to gamers you know um that's concerning to me it's concerning to a lot of people um, and I think the bigger concern is if you can't deliver on what you promised with the acquisitions that you've already, um, you know, got under your belt, then what makes me believe that even more companies coming under your belt is going to change that? You see, so right now people don't want to hear about the next company that you purchase. They want to know what you're going to do about the lack of games that you have the lack of quality that you have the types of games that you're pushing and some of that is you know my, not all of their fault some of that is caused by fanboys playstation fanboys um and xbox fanboys alike you know it's the fanboyism that encompasses both consoles that really determine the direction of the console so you would think with PlayStation, their fanboys push them to focus on exclusives. And so that's a good thing. But with Xbox, contrary to most people's belief, we have so many Xbox fans out there that are happy with Cuphead, Psychonauts, Fighting Toads, Sea of Thieves, and Grounded as the basis of their gaming. Whereas PlayStation fans, they're not happy unless they have God of War, Uncharted, Gran Turismo, you know, Spider-Man, things of that sort. So if you see the dichotomy of the two, you see that Microsoft is only delivering what their fans want. No matter how much I feel about um, Grounded being a crap game and a baby game, you can't deny the fact that there were a lot of people that were streaming that game during its beta testing. It was actually the number one streaming game out there for a while. And that, that blows my mind to know that so much attention is going toward this game. And so if that is going on, then what do you expect Microsoft to do? <laughs> Where do you expect them to go with their, with their you know, direction of their company? Of course they're going to go the same route. Of course they're going to, you know, uh, keep producing games like Psychonauts and stuff like that. Because they think people actually truly want that. And obviously we had a great number of people that do. But I think what's going on is that the core gamer for Microsoft are used to the rumors, the letdowns, and they don't voice their opinions like PlayStation fans do. And like, so the only person that's actually speaking for Xbox people and only data they can gather 
is the data when they see Cuphead being downloaded so many times and used and Psychonauts being talked about in other games. You know, they can only go by what they're seeing. See, nobody is actually telling them, not enough people is actually telling them that they want better games similar to what PlayStation has. That, I believe, is the conversation that's not being had. See, it's not about just getting exclusives. It's about getting the right type of exclusives. You know, I want to see, I want to see games like, you know, Tomb Raider exclusively to Xbox. You know, single player story driven games that define, you know, a gaming industry. I want to see those types of games bought out. But Microsoft isn't doing that. They're buying even more indie titles. And again, PlayStation is not, you know, immune to the whole, to the whole hype thing, you know. Um, let's not forget that PlayStation fans can't even accept the fact still today that Xbox is still going to be more powerful. And that Xbox is going to play third party games better. And that Xbox is going to have better frame rate games as a whole than PlayStation. They can't accept that. And it bothers them. For me, I mean, I just, I want the best third-party uh, gaming console out there. Now, like I said before, if PlayStation can prove that there's not much difference between their fake 4K resolution that they're probably going to have to fall back on, um, as opposed to the native resolution, native 4K resolution, if PlayStation can prove that the pure resolution of 4k versus their fake 4k or their um checkerboarding 4k doesn't make that much of a difference kind of similar to what it kind of did with this generation if they can hold on to that to that little difference to keep it from growing into a bigger difference then playstation is going to wipe the floor with xbox even more than everybody expects them to now there's no hope for Xbox. There's no reason to go with Xbox from that point out. But if Xbox can show that their third-party games are, cr are truly better than the PlayStation, you know, actually being able to look at two screens and saying, that one looks better than that one. If you can do that with the third-party games for Xbox, then Xbox still wins, in my opinion, for me. And so I think that this is what everything comes down to, guys. Um, it's just what camp... What side of the camp do you provide? I mean, do you reside at, rather? And it comes down to what the fans are saying. So, until next time, guys, this is Mario. Digital Crack.